Well, if you're a Ford fan, I got something to show you. This is an 86 Grand Marquis, and there's an 86 Pontiac. The Pontiac isn't near as rusty. The bumper's fucked. Oh, wait, we have a front bumper. Yeah, the, the front bumper, I think, is still good. Yeah, but it's inside. <laughs> um, this is how we got it here. This thing uh, we don't think has been running since what, 2002 or? Four years. Yep. Got fuel injection, sure is corroded. We're just about to throw a battery in there and see if the motor is seized or even if the wiring is still good enough to crank it. She's pretty lame. Man, this car's got rust on the rust. Loaded with problems. Yep. And it says 65,789 kilometers, but by judge, looking at the car, that's probably 365,000. Well, it will be totally amazing if we can get this thing going. He wants it when we're done. Okay, more bees, please. Yeah, Justin, we found some more. We got some uh, ancient oil in the trunk. Guy must have been a wino. Some Pinot Noir. <laughs> yep, some things never change. Okay, this is going to be the maiden voyage for my uh, 63 Alice Chalmers. And we got to give it a lift test. It does have short forks, so there is a possibility if I'm lifting this forward that they could go through the rusty floor and it might not pick it up very well. But we'll see. For so many years, it's got a Cavalier seat and a Cavalier tilt steering column in it. Wow. And a redneck gas tank system, is it rusted out too? Like a toy, pick it up.
I like it, Dave. Cool. That's how you move cars. And there's the proof it hasn't moved for all those years. Lots of dead spots and depressions and toxic waste which we won't mention. <laughs>